Mr. Lost was a kind, level-headed man. Despite of his old age, he wasn't grouchy or sour, like most of his fellow elderly residents at Bridgeacre. He was a pleasant individual, his cheerful demeanor caused by his pride for his biggest treasure. His prized red roses. They were the most beautiful roses anybody has ever seen. The deep crimson color accompanied by their dark green leaves. It made them the most beautiful flowers in Bridge Acre. Fellow gardening enthusiasts were mesmerized by these roses, and they wanted to know a secret for growing such beautiful flowers. Mr. Lost would just say it was a secret, homemade mulch that he adds to the soil. His next door neighbor, Wilbur Warstead, was bitter and he was a belligerent man. He was extremely jealous of the roses and coveted the ability to grow such beautiful flowers. He was a gardener himself and sought to outdo any competition that dared outshine his garden. Seeking to sabotage his neighbor, he decided to steal Mr. Lost's special soil additive. He waited for when Mr. Lost was out of the house to sneak in. He searched the house upside down, but found nothing. Just as he was about to leave, he knocked over a book, which revealed a secret passage that led deep into the bowels of the house. He stopped in front of a lock pad door. He typed in all four zeros, and with sheer luck, he opened the door. But when the doors opened up, a terrible picture blurred his vision. In the middle of the room was a bloody wood chipper, and on the floor were bits and pieces of flesh and bones. There was blood on the ceiling, walls, and floor. Wilbur wanted to leave, but all of a sudden, he felt a stabbing sensation in the back of his neck. Slowly, he stumbled back before becoming unconscious. He woke up, chained above a wood chipper, and beneath, smiling, was Mr. Lost. Howdy, neighbor, said Mr. Lost. J Jerry, get me the hell down from here, Wilbur screamed at the top of his lungs. But how would I make manure, Wilbur? He said slowly, approaching the lever. You know, he continued, I usually perform these delicate operations on animals. They gave me such good results. But I really want to try on humans. You should be very lucky. This will be a good thing you have done with your life. He finished with a pleasant smile. He pulled down the lever and sent Wilbur down the wood chipper. Wilbur thrashed and screamed, but all of it was in vain. Mr. Lost just stood there with the same grin as before, as the wood chipper chopped Wilbur into a bloody goop of flesh and bone. The next week, Jerry's garden grew more beautiful roses.